After researchers develop a new potential gene therapy, they conduct clinical trials to see if the treatment is safe and how well it works. These trials use lots of different tests to evaluate the investigational therapy. You might hear about them when talking to your doctor or reading about gene therapy. So what are they? Let's take a look. Researchers first look at safety, including whether there are any serious health risks after an investigational gene therapy and what kind of side effects participants had. Safety may be studied for several years after treatment. Next, they evaluate efficacy, starting with whether the gene therapy is doing what it was designed to do inside the body. In Duchenne, one thing that is looked at is whether a new form of dystrophin protein is being made. This is called expression, or protein expression. Scientists measure expression by looking at the cells affected by the genetic disease. In neuromuscular diseases like Duchenne, doctors may perform a biopsy to collect muscle cells. Then, they can look inside of the muscle cells to see how much of the new protein is there, and if it's in the right place. Two common tests that are used for this are called Western blot and immunofluorescence. Scientists also want to know if the protein did its job. Did the investigational gene therapy help slow or stabilize the disease? In Duchenne, this could mean measuring muscle performance. Two tests you may have heard of that help measure this are the NSAA and PULL. They help measure the ability to do everyday activities like walking, lifting a cup, climbing stairs, or getting up from the floor. So what did we learn? Gene therapies are thoroughly tested in clinical trials. Many different tests are used to see whether the gene therapy is working as it was designed. If you're considering gene therapy, it's always a good idea to ask your doctor what has been learned in clinical trials. For more information, reach out to our patient advocacy team by emailing advocacy at sarepta.com and be sure to visit duchenne.com to sign up to receive updates and access additional Duchenne resources.